Hey guys. So today's video is going to be my big boobs tips and hacks video. I am someone who is on the smaller side frame wise and then my chest is pretty full. Definitely a part of the, or not a part of the itty bitty titty committee. It's like very empowering to have big boobs but it can also be a struggle to wear outfits because one, it always looks like you're trying to show off the fact that your tits are big. Two, it always looks sexual, like it's harder to make your outfits look fashionable or trendy or um, more about the outfit and less about your body shape, which can be a little tricky to navigate. Oh, and also bikinis. So I'm gonna mention and show you guys a bunch of my favorite products that I use. I have my notes on my laptop, so if I'm looking over here, that is why. Let's get straight into it. My favorite bras. My favorite bras used to be the Skims bra, um, the t-shirt one. I really, really liked it, but I do find that the actual cups itself do get a little flimsy and they lose their shape pretty quick. Like this part here, they all just started to go like, you know, like weird. And they just didn't hold it nicely. They started to give me the double boob look, which I'm not a fan of. The double boob, what I'm talking about is basically when your boobs are kind of like too pushed up out of a bra so that it like, when you're wearing something flat, it goes like flat and then like over. If you have bigger boobs or you wear push-up bras or anything like that, you'll know what I'm talking about and I just hate that look. So I was trying to find new bras, but bras are so expensive, especially in sizes for big boobs and small frames. So personally, my size is a 32 triple D. Little tip on how to know if a bra is gonna fit you well, you need to find a shape of a bra that's gonna fit nicely. So if your boobs go out this way or this way, you're gonna want a bra that's more of like a balconette, so meaning it goes across this way. But for me personally, my boobs, do kind of go like this way, I would say. So I like how wearing a bra that's more of like a, I guess like, is this like a D shape? I don't know what this is called, but like a very standard looking bra because the way it holds them is nicer. There's no spillage. They're not constantly needing to be put back in because they don't naturally sit out like this. That's what I find works for me based off of the way my boobs go naturally. Back into what my favorite bra is. So my favorite bra is now the Airy bras. If you've never tried a bra from Airy, you definitely should. I think their biggest size is a triple D, so unfortunately, if your boobs are bigger than that, which I feel like there's so many people who do have bigger boobs than that, so it should be so much more normal to have sizes that are way bigger than the triple D, and they should be like thousands of dollars, you know, that's just like hundreds of dollars because getting those from most is expensive, and that's usually what you have to do with your small frame big boobs. Anyways, I'm not gonna go on my rant, I'm just gonna say if you are under triple D then I would recommend checking out um, the Airy bras. They fit really, really well. I like the way they sit inside the bra. They do cover nicely, so it's not like cutting off on the middle of my nipple. It covers properly, it's like more full coverage, but it also does make them look cute and not like, you know, granny bra looking. I will say that the price of them is really good, especially for the quality. Next thing, I have found the perfect strapless bra. I have gone 22 years, almost 22 years, of not having a good strapless bra, not being able to wear halter tops, strapless tops. Like, I just have not been able to wear stuff like that for 22 years because every time I wear a strapless bra, I'm constantly pulling it up, constantly like adjusting them. It is so frustrating. And I found one and I know why it's different. Okay, so it might look a little strange because of how long this looks. It's actually super cute on as well. So if you're wondering if it looks really weird, it doesn't at all. I would definitely recommend this bra. I think this is about $60 on Amazon. It's from the company, oh, Wonder Bra. I remember that being like, I swear that's like a, like a grandma bra. Anyways, I got mine in the size 34E. So I'm pretty sure triple D and E are the same size. Like the reason that it's different is one, because it has like the little rubbery sticky parts. Let me see if you guys can see, see that? So it has like the little rubbery sticky parts on it, which help to keep it up on the back, as well as, the cups here have like almost like a hand on the inside if you guys can see that and it just helps to support your boobs and keep them nice and pushed up they're not just like sitting in the bra and like falling down this actually helps them to like sit pretty you know the best part about this bra and this is actually the part that makes this bra different compared to other strapless bras is this base so it's kind of tricky to see but if you guys were to get this bra and like feel it you would feel that this part is all firm so rather than it just being one thin wire, it's actually all of this that's like boning. That's not what it's called. I don't know what it's called. That's like basically a, like sticking, like like holding you in and keeping a firm spot, almost like a corset. So it kind of goes into like a corset down here, if that makes sense. And it also makes 
the bra stay in place rather than constantly having to shift it. A lot of the times, at least personally with me, the reason my strapless bras fall down is because my boobs are outweighing the bra. So the boobs are like pushing the bra down because they're like heavier than the bra. But with this, since this has more support, it's able to actually hold them up and fight back. So next thing are nipple covers. I feel like this isn't just necessarily for um, big boob girls. This is just for girls in general. A lot of the time, they're the ones that kind of give, this is your boob, let's say, and let's pretend this is your nipple. And then you go and you put um, a nipple cover on top. It literally is so thick that it gives this look. And then when you wear a top on top, there's like a bump over your nipple as if you have like thick nipples. It's, it's weird. Or not even thick nipples, thick areolas. Like it's just, I'm not a fan of it. I've never been able to wear them because I just hate the way it looks. Thick areolas. That's exactly what it is. And it sounds disgusting and it is ugh, like, why do they even make those? But I found one that actually goes flush to your skin. So it fits really, really nicely. So there are these ones here. They come in this cute little box. They're also from Amazon. And they look like this. So they're a lot wider and I'm pretty sure they come in different sizes. So I got obviously the double D ones or triple D ones, whatever size it was. But they come in different sizes. So the smaller your boobs, the smaller the circles will be. And pretty much this part, you just peel it off like a regular, you know, sticky thingy. And then you stick this part onto your boob. But since it's so thin, it's literally like, I want to say like not even paper thin, like it's so thin. It just goes flush with your skin. The padding in this isn't super thick. It's like very, very, very thin. And the thickest part is obviously here, but since it's going so gradually, it's not all of a sudden just like a sticker on your tit. It just fits a lot better and um, it looks a lot more natural, it just looks like you just don't have hard nipples, which is great. Personally for me, I just don't want my nipples showing. So this is a great way to keep them nice and concealed without making them stand out. The next thing I wanna mention is this double-sided tape. You can get this from anywhere. I love double-sided tape. If you're wearing a V-neck, if you're wearing a top that's moving a lot, you can literally just tape this to the top and to your skin and then it'll basically stay where you want it to stay which is great i think that's pretty much all i use it for but i'm sure there's other ways that you could use that next thing is boob tape this is actually athletic tape i really want to get real authentic boob tape that's meant for that because i think that it's wider and i think it would fit better but basically the way that you use it there's tons of videos online i'm pretty sure like kim kardashian was the first one to really show this but you basically tape from here to here and then that's good enough sometimes but if you want more you know support you can tape from here to here and it basically just yeah you probably already seen that but that is one of my tips and then the last tip i'm going to mention is with bathing suits with bathing suits again kind of go back to knowing what fits you well knowing your boob um shape the way they sit the way they just naturally want to go and work with them um i heard something the other day that you're not supposed to fit your clothes your clothes are supposed to fit you so I think that's kind of a good way of thinking about this type of stuff too, because it's like, you don't need to get all these cute bathing suits and hope that your body is gonna form to fit that. You should get things that's gonna fit your body because the clothes is interchangeable, your boobs are. So for me personally, I think that these shapes work really well. This is honestly way too small. When I order off Shein, I always order a medium because I want the bottoms to fit nice and then the top's too small, so I have to buy a large anyways. But I have seen that on Aerie, they do have some really, really great bathing suit tops and bottoms. So I'm definitely gonna be buying from there this year. And I also like that they do show pictures of girls that are fuller chested. It just makes it easier to kind of imagine what it would look like on you. A lot of the times they're like super tiny models with super, super small boobs and it's hard to like picture if that bra is gonna fit you because your boobs are just way bigger than that. So the reason that I like bras like this, obviously in a bigger size, is because you can take this padding out. So you can literally just pull the cup out and it gives way more room. And then your boob just pretty much sits in it and it's a lot better. So those are all of my tips. If you guys have any tips for big boobs, please leave them down below because I would love to try them out. If you have any bra suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any other video suggestions, you can also let me know. Um, also, if you want to see more videos from me, I post every Thursday and Sunday. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video. I think I'm almost at 700 subscribers. And if you're one of them, thank you so much for subscribing. Mm -hmm.